for clicking on my channel, Joy's Way. I'm Joy. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning supporter of mine, welcome back, awesome person. So today, I'm going to be playing with some of my makeup for um, March 1st, March 31st. I think in my last video, I said February 29th, but yeah, I was lying. <coughs> Anyways, so this is just going to be a super bright back there. Can I help you? My cat's meow, and she's like, oh, are you... Are you on camera recording? So this is going to be a Chitty Chatty Get Ready With Me video. I just played with these three color pops yesterday. So I'm going to play with them again. I'm trying to um, get use out of all seven of the palettes. So let me see here. Let's use this half caked palette. Here are the colors. And now I just gotta find a brush that I wasn't ready for. You think I would get ready for this? But I don't. I like get ideas. I'm like, oh, let's video. And then I video, like I'm doing right now. But I don't think about getting anything prepared. All right, so I found this brush right here. This is a Fahara brush. And I'm going to take Disc Space, is the name of that shade. I think these are more of a warmer toned brown. And if that's the case, I don't, I mean, I can wear them, but I don't think I like warmer tones as much as I do cooler tones. But anyways, so I figured I would go ahead and use this video to like update you on what's going on with my life. <laughs> I have a lot of updates on that lately and, um, update you on what's going on with my life. And why do I forget these things? Like, huh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember what I was going to say. I know it was like two things. But anyways, so first of all, I um, want to complain about my hair. So I don't know what's going on, but I just washed my hair like three days ago and it looks horrible. And it's been looking horrible to the point to where I actually started washing it twice a week because I wasn't sure like what was going on with it. I wasn't sure if it's because I was working at a McDonald's with all the grease and stuff, but my hair was just getting so greasy, just so, so greasy, to where I couldn't deal with it. And I don't use, like, what is that, like, um, dry shampoo, you know, that like spray stuff. I don't like it. I don't matter. I put it on my hair, and it, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It looks like dandruff. Like, like I've got, like, all kinds of dandruff. And I don't want that. Then I'm going to go into this, um, buffering shade here and I'm just gonna keep using this brush because no sense me trying to find another one um but anyways so I decided I'd start washing my hair twice a week well so I've done that the last couple of weeks but now it's like it's wanting me to wash it more and that's not gonna happen like I'm going to try to get it back down to washing it once a week because like I've done that for years and that's how my hair stays healthy and usually my hair looks like this, like, you know, the day before wash day. And it's not the day before wash day. Like, <sighs> tomorrow is actually. I guess it kind of is, but I'm trying to go longer. Like, because I quit my job at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long. Um, I just couldn't deal with it. There wasn't enough people working there. And I don't deal with stress as I get older as well as I used to when I was younger. And I'm not sure why that is. I've come to the conclusion that it's because I don't have littles at home anymore. And so, because all of my children are growing, and my stepchildren are almost all grown too. We only have one in the house that's a minor. He's 15 now. But he pretty much takes care of himself. And plus, his father's here. And his father's working. And we also have two um, uh, brothers. Like, I put my makeup on using my camera. Like, I'm going to look at this mirror really quick because it doesn't look like it's darkening, does it? Isn't that so weird? I wonder if it's the brush that I'm using. So, I guess. I guess I'll look for another brush. So, I found this lavish brush here, and I'm just going to go back into the same buffering shade. But anyways, I have, um, I have two adult children here, too. So, the 15-year-old, you know, he's, you know, got plenty of adult supervision, no matter who is here. But anyways, I don't know if it's because of that. So the only thing I can think of is because, like, when I was younger, I had children. I had a lot more responsibilities. I had to work. But now that I'm getting older, like, I don't have to work. Dave makes enough money to keep us afloat. My money is usually extra money. Anyways, yeah, sometimes it comes in handy 
because he does construction and you know sometimes you don't work for a couple of weeks or whatever so when I was working I'd have money um, and you know we, we wouldn't have to stretch out his money longer I guess but like I know I don't have to work so I gave McDonald's a try because I really really wanted a job after I had to quit working at um, Walmart and I was having a hard time finding a job so I said the hell with it and I went to McDonald's because why because McDonald's is always a hiring but nobody wants to work for them and when I went there they were already understaffed I'm just cleaning that brush off so I can move on to another color um, but when I went when I got hired in they were already understaffed they already didn't have enough people for from the time they were open till the time they were closed they opened at 5 in the morning and they closed at 11 at night um, now I'm gonna do this digital um, get down color but anyways um, did I blind anybody to all that? <laughs> but anyways, I'm getting off topic. I'm off track. Anyways, I was like, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot, but I couldn't do it. So the day that I quit was a Friday, and we were already shorthanded. So when I quit, I made them even more shorthanded, but I didn't think of that. Like, um, I just was having a rough day. I was being yelled at by customers because I was on the back drive through trying to take orders. We had our shake machine down. The day before, we had our frappe machine down. Frap, frappe machine down. And it's not because they were broke. It's because the night shift doesn't clean them like they're supposed to. They claim it's because they're shorthanded and they can't get it done. But I don't understand why they're not working an extra hour to get shit done. Like, you know... That's how we did it. I've had to close down fast food restaurants in my younger days. And if we close at 11 and we were scheduled out at 12, but if we weren't done by 12 and we had to stay until 1230 or quarter to one, we were getting paid for it anyways, but we wouldn't leave until the job was done. But the job wasn't done. So we'd come in and um, we'd have to, we'd have to do it. We'd have to tear everything down and put it through the wash cycle because it's got to be done daily to be able to use it so um, at least at least they were doing that um, I'm also gonna say really quick about this palette right here is I just don't think it's very pigmented because like I'm going into this um, digital get down like a lot and it's just coming on barely I didn't I don't know if I realized that I don't even remember if I've used this or not I think I might have but it's been so long that's so weird oh well Anyways, uh, this might be actually kind of a long video. Um, I apologize. You don't have to watch the whole thing if you don't want to. If you do, awesome. I appreciate it. But anyways, so the day before, um, we had to do the frapping machine that day. I mean, we didn't have to do every machine. Like, they'd get some done. It's not like they didn't do nothing. But it seemed like they were always leaving at least one of the machines that we couldn't just use automatically, right? We had to um, tear it down and have it go through its cycle. And it takes, you know... A good half an hour to get everything tore down. It takes another half an hour for 45 minutes for it to go through its cycle. Then it takes a good 15, 20 minutes to put it all back together. Um, and when uh, it takes longer to tear down because that's also like the stuff that you tear down, you have to take to the sink, you have to wash it, you know, all that. So it takes a couple of hours. So when you open up at five, uh, you'd be surprised the amount of people, especially the shake machine. Like I understand the frappe machine because it's like the, it's like a coffee ice drink or whatever. Um, but the shakes? I'm like, what the hell? Who needs a shake at five in the morning? But you'd be surprised at the amount of people who need shakes at five in the morning. So when you don't have that available for your entitled customers, <laughs> they bitch at you. And most days I can deal with it, but I guess I'm only human. And I went like this day, the day that I quit, the Friday that I quit, I had just gotten yelled at by a customer because so, like, I would read the order when I would open the door because customers would, like, jump spots when we had the two, um, I just need to keep doing makeup, um, when we had the two, uh, I'm gonna use this color right here with my finger, so when we had the two lanes or whatever, people, you know, don't know how they're supposed to pull up, and this McDonald's that I worked for, they had, like, where it took pictures of the front of your car, but sometimes those pictures, um, weren't the best so I would just be like did you order 
you know, uh, number three with a Coke and two extra uh, McDoubles with a McChicken, you know, I just read the order to them. And the amount of people that say yes, and then after they pay and you give them the receipt and they knock on your damn window and go, I'm sorry, but this isn't, th this isn't my order. And then they want to yell at you. <laughs> well, that Friday that happened three times and I just wasn't dealing with it. Second time I got yelled at, I told the management there that I was going to quit if they did not move me. And they should have listened to me because I was warning them. I felt like, <laughs> felt like I was warning them, but they didn't. And so about 30 minutes later, it happened again. That was the third person that decided that they were going to say, yes, that's what I ordered pay for it, look at their receipt, and then go, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, that's not what I ordered. I didn't hear you the right way, or I misunderstood, or whatever. And it's so annoying. Like, pay the fuck attention. Like, get off your damn phone. And that's usually what it was, too. Like, 99% of the time, it was because they were on their phone while they're going through the drive through Get off your motherfucking phone. And the other 1% of the time, it was because they were the elderly and they couldn't hear very well. So the elderly had to get mad at. It was just sons of bitches that were on your damn phone. Oh, so annoying. Like, put it down when you're being talked to. Pay attention. Make sure. So anyways, I'm getting here and hated just thinking about it. So that day absolutely sucked. And when the third person yelled at me, I just said, you know what? I quit. And I started taking everything off that I had. Like my hat, my apron. Put that off. I went over the time clock. I clocked the fuck out and I walk through and I said that's it I quit I will not be yelled at by another customer again and I stopped taking the rest of my stuff back to them oh god I'm looking for stuff what am I looking for I don't remember <laughs> um I don't remember I don't remember what I'm looking for but anyways I want to pause this because I want to finish my eyes but I don't want to do my eyes on camera because I'm not really using like I'm you know I'm not really talking about that stuff because I use it all the time but anyways um so that day I just decided I wasn't dealing with this shit I am too old I'm too old too old too old to deal with people yelling at me just because they can't hear the right way and the customer is not always right and I refuse to work for a fucking place where they think that the customer is always right and I'm just I just couldn't do it oh I said I gotta take all my other stuff back too when I wash in um my work clothes before I take it back but all right I'll be back in one second Okay, I lied. I do want to show you this mascara that I'm using. I don't remember if I showed you before, but if I did, it's worth showing you twice. So it's called Lawless, the one and done mascara. And if I didn't show you, I think I at least talked about it. So anyways, these are my lashes, right? I have nothing on them. They're, you know, itty bitty. Oh, just a second. Let me, ooh, let me find it. Here it is. Here it is. So let me take this thingy because I've been doing this before. I don't know why. I tried it one day and I actually liked it. So I haven't done it before, but I'm just going to show you really quick this eye. Then I will pause again and um, finish it up and then come back. So any hit, anyways, this is, anyways, oh my God, I can't remember. This is what the um, wand looks like. So I just like take it right to my eye. And I do use it like, can you see that? Like, you see no mascara mascara this is like a one and none like look at that i absolutely love this mascara and i've only been using this one mascara when i do all of my makeup and i'm gonna cry when i run out of it because i technically don't need any more mascaras i still got plenty to work through all right next i'm gonna make myself wear some foundation so i'm gonna use the laura geller new york and I'm going to put it on with this brush. It's not that bad, really, I guess. I don't know. I just don't like foundation. I've never really been much of a foundation person. No, but anyways, so I quit my job. And I decided, like, because um, I really don't need to work. So I'm not going to stress about getting a job. I'm still going to look for a job until I find one that I like. Because I figured there's no sense in working, like, just rushing and getting another, like, fast food job or something that I don't really like. Oops. Um, because, like, when I like the place I work at, I don't tend to stress out as much. And I didn't really want to work at McDonald's to begin with. Like, that was probably my first problem. I was like, it's just a good enough job until I can find another one. Well, it was not just a good enough job. No, it might have been if they would have had, like, plenty of people 
you know, staffed, like, um, then maybe, maybe it might have, you know, been a little bit different because on top of like, cause I didn't always work the drive through. That was just where the rudest customers were at. Um, when you take your order, when you, when you take their order, when you take their cash and when you give them your food, like those are the rudest people, not all of them, but a lot of them were like the rudest people. And I just couldn't understand like, why are you going to be so mean to the people that are dealing with your food for one? I would be afraid somebody would spit my damn food. Now, like I say, it's going to happen. And if it does, I'm sure they'd be found out, you know, pretty quickly because, uh, there's cameras everywhere and McDonald's except for like the bathrooms, I think. Um, so it would be seen not that day. They do have people when like, I don't know if you guys realize this or not. I mean, I'm sure the people that have worked in these type of, you know, um, businesses or industries or companies or whatever you want to call it, they know. But like, if you're being recorded 24 seven, the whole, or from the time this place is open to the time the place is closed, they have other people somewhere else that watch those videos that get paid to watch those videos to see if people are doing anything wrong. Like, and it's also for, um, it's also for like, you know, the management to be able to go through, but the corporate office has access to it too. And they can, um, uh, oh, what am I trying to say? They can, um, go through it whenever they want, but they themselves ain't going to go through it per se. That's why they hire people. And then those people go through, watch the videos, see if you're doing anything wrong type of thing. I am like so thirsty. But I already had my two cups of coffee, so I can't have coffee. And plus, I've had this, like, sinus thing going on. Oh, so what I'm finding out is because, like, this to me, it's, like, too sticky. Like, I don't want to touch it. Um, so I put the foundation on or whatever. But I have this pure um, powder foundation. And so I've been taking this brush. And I guess I'm using it like um, a setting powder. Because I don't use a setting powder. But i just been using this to um kind of like take the sticky off before i do any more of the makeup you know before i do like blush and bronzer and, and highlight that kind of stuff i forgot to tap it first so i waited to mess that up you were done first i'm talking about it and thinking um but anyhow so this is gonna take me a minute to do my video is already forever long because i fucking talk so much so i'm gonna have pause you again and i'll be right all right, I got that done. Now I'm going to bronze with my Busy Art. And I've used this a couple of times. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, honestly, I don't know if I really like it as much as I thought I did. Um, I don't know. I liked my other one, my Kylie Jenner one better. That's all I know. And this is like a really expensive brand. But I almost wonder if it's just the wrong shade for me. Because I almost feel like this makes me come off dirty instead of bronzy but I'm going to use that anyways. And I'm coming down a little bit further. I'm a forehead because I got a five head and I was watching um, this makeup person. I don't remember who, but they were like people that have bigger foreheads should bronze, you know, down a little bit. So I've been doing that. I don't know if that helps or not, but um, I don't know. I also don't even know if I like this bronzer. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm using my actual camera, so my eyes are probably everywhere, but looking, making it look like I look at you. I tried to do that when I, oh my god, I'm talking to stuff, I tried to make it look like I'm focusing right on you, so you feel like we're having, like, a conversation together, but sometimes it don't happen, and then I'm going down like this a little bit more because it's supposed to help hide the fat, but I don't know if it actually does or not. Um, I have determined, though, because we're going to move right on to my blush next, I just gotta get the brushes. I gotta clean it. Uh, that I don't like this blush. Um, and I'm gonna tell you why I don't like it. This is the Milani, and I thought I did. I thought I liked it. But I think I thought I liked it, you know, because like I got it, in, like my Ipsy bag or my Box of Charm box. And it was when I first started getting boxes, and it was really cool to play with or something like that or within the first year. But if you look really, really close to that. Um, I don't know if you guys could tell or not, but anyways, it freaking has like glitter in it and I just watch it and I just don't want to, um, uh, cause I don't even know if you'll be able to see the glitter, but I can see the glitter. So we're going to use the blink palette. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to, um, put that off in the, uh, 
make up to take down to my family one day <clears throat> because I do have like a really big family, like the amount of cousins and aunts and stuff. But anyways, this is called the, this is accomplished. So I'm going to start off with that and I'll probably add the one next to it is what I've been doing with it the most. And then I go to talented and I usually just dip, you know, two to three times, no more than three times. And then I put my, my blush, um, and then I'll wipe my, my brush off again, which I have, um, a thing to do it over here and then I will blend it out because as much as I like blush I don't like it everywhere and I don't like a lot of it and I don't want it to be overpowering I know some people are like they're gonna never have too much blush for me you can have too much blush so I don't like that I never have though but I think it's because like in the summertime when I'm out in the sun my face gets red and then my cheeks are like rosy red and it's so hard to tone them down. What else do we want to use? Um, I think we'll use the Ofra. Oh, yeah, you know what? I think in the midst of quitting, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I haven't found it. So, and I had like six lipsticks that I was going to use. Well, guess what? <laughs> I lost one. And I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking that I might have left it in my work apron because like I would take um a lip balm a lip oil and whatever color lipstick I chose to wear to work that day so I'm gonna use my Ofra highlight I probably shouldn't have put this in there this is the Ofra and um Talamar um highlight and Soho because I, I'm gonna pick this one more than I do any of the other colors but anyhow um I love Ofra highlight look at that bam um but I think I left it. I think I might have accidentally left it at work, which is not that big of a deal. If they give it back to me when I take things back, cool. If not, I mean, I have 181 lipsticks. So I'm sure I can find it. But so I may have to scratch my six because I'm not going to add a sixth one. I'm just going to be like, whatever. Like, that didn't work out. Uh, so I want to take it and put it up here. I like to do that too. Oh, crap. I didn't even do my brows. Mm. Oh, I don't even care. So let's see. Um, as you see, I also didn't use um, what is it? The stuff. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out which lipstick I'm going to use. I think. Let's go give them La La Beauty. This is brown. This is like dark brown. Wow. Like I really expected that to be darker. I mean, I still like it. But I really expected it to be darker. I thought it was going to be more of a deeper brown. But that's what I'm going to wear today. I can already tell, um, even though I have wore this lipstick a few times in the past, um, I can already tell with it being on my lips that it is not going to be a um, stay put, you know, what is it called? <sighs> Why are words so hard for me sometimes? You know, it just pisses me off. <laughs> Cause I know what it is. I know what I want to say. I just can't say it. Transfer proof. This is not going to be a transfer proof lipstick is what I was trying to say. But alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get off of here. I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do my little chitty chatty kind of complaining, ranting little video using the makeup that I chose for March 1st to March 31st. I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. Remain awesome and peace out. Awesome crew.